Welcome to the channel everybody, it's Phil Beckwith, your professional painter and decorator. Coming at you with a um, bit of an interesting one, we always like interesting videos. Um, we've had a bit of a problem with a manufacturer issue on some paint and um, as good painters and decorators we come and sort it out. Now the problem's been with Dulux weather shield exterior water based quick drying gloss. We used it on some outside doors, used the correct process, rubbed all the doors down, obviously, dusted them all off, gave them the correct Dulux weather shield water based undercoat, which was a grey, and then the top coat was mixed to cinnamon, um, a cinnamon colour. I'll show you that in a moment. Uh, but when it went on we weren't too happy with it it was like a coloured glaze if that makes any sense to anybody it was like a coloured glaze um, didn't cover for two coats some doors had three and four coats still didn't look um, particularly good the weather was a bit better than it is today but today's not cold not too hot and um, you couldn't put it down to weather conditions how it looked when you'd applied it and we'd applied it with nice brushes we've got the um, Arrowworthy classic brushes so they've got a lovely soft bristle uh, applied by um, brush we applied it and it looked like if you can remember back from the 90s those that are old enough to remember Dulux did a brush wood which was like um, a DIYers graining kit you got a base coat and then you got a colour that you put over the top and it looked like wood grain. Now this Dulux gloss, when it was applied, this weather shield gloss, when it was applied, you got flocculation. Now if you don't know what flocculation is, either wait till the end of the video or put some comments and I'll comment a bit later. But it looked like flocculation and when it dried out it started to look like this brush grain, brush wood that Dulux did. 25 30 years ago so that wasn't very good and also when we came back in the morning we were finding that you'd got the surface if you got little spots of rain because you'd had a little bit of a shower not that it rained on it but you got blooming now if you don't know what blooming is it's where it goes like a milky finish over your surface which normally comes down with temperature changes and a temperature drop particularly with gloss paints you get blooming but we didn't have any of that because we've not got cold weather we've not got any rain and it was leaving a milky finish so we're back now to redo these doors Dulux have been really good they've um, supplied us with another tin of paint and also they'll pay for a bit of labor to reapply these doors recoat these doors up um, so that's all good so what I'm going to do now I'm going to move you around to where we're working and show you what the doors looked like after we'd given three and four coats and how they're looking now for us recoating them all up which is totally different and you'll see the colour even looks different which makes me wonder whether there was something wrong with the base the actual base of the mix you know they use a bit a mixing uh, colour into a base paint whether that was wrong or whether the pigments went into it and they were wrong I don't know but what we've got now seems totally different so we know that the first tin of paint which has actually been sent back down to Slough um, Dulux head office for being looked into but the paint we've got now is totally different so I'm going to move you around to where we're working and let's have a look at it and um, give us some comments have you had the same sort of problem I don't know it can't be just us can it so um, see you in a few seconds I'm back with you so I've moved around to the I'm going to say the back side of the house and here's a couple of the doors now in total we've got two four six eight doors and most of them are both sides now what I'm going to do I'm going to bring you zoom you in I'm going to see if I can zoom you in and also put you a bit closer now I don't know whether you can see and it's picking up very well on this camera this is uneven this isn't, can you see me? This isn't a, an even solid colour. It looks very ropey. It's water-based paint, so you could probably see, say that that's down to the water-based paint. It's uneven in finish. And when I said to you earlier about brush wood that Dulux used to do about 25, 30 years ago, it looks like you've got a, a base colour on and then gone, gone over it with... Um, 
weather shield, you know, um, the stains, weather, well, can't think what it's called, wood care, sorry, wood care, it's come back to me. So it looks like you've gone over with a solid colour and then um, gone over it with wood care and it gives you like a brush wood finish, like graining, and that's what it looks like. And this is supposed to be a solid gloss. So if you can just see that, I don't know whether you can or not. It's probably not doing it justice. Can we see? No. But all the doors look like that. Not very even. If we go back a bit further, it might even show up a bit more. It's not very even at all. Now, you can see what we're doing. We're re-rubbing them down, because they're not, not too bad, because obviously they've only been done about a month. They actually are quite solid, even though they've not covered very well, because they've had three or four coats, so they will be quite solid. And don't forget, I said we use the correct process. We put the undercoat on first, which was actually a grey. It says grey undercoat, which seemed funny. And then this cinnamon colour over the top. Now the new tin of paint we've got, which is the same mix of colour, cinnamon, that's actually saying to use a red undercoat. And I'll show you the tin in a minute. So see in a second. So hear him, hear him, hear him. Well, that's probably somebody's name, hear him. This is the tin of paint I've got now. And it's the Weather Shield Quick Dry Exterior. It's made up to cinnamon stick. I know it was cinnamon something, cinnamon stick. Now this tin says on it, Remarks, use undercoat dark red. Well, originally, these were grey, and that's what it says, use dark grey undercoat. So it's funny how it's changed. That's the tin colour. Always work from the back of the tin. Just running. Always work from the back of the tin, not the front. Be professional, work from the back of the tin. So these have actually I had like a, a reddish undercoat for us putting this on now. But this is what we're using now. Can you focus in on it? Yeah. And this seems different again. And I'm going to show you some doors that we've actually coated up with one coat going over the faulty paint and it's looking a lot better. So I'll be back with you in a second. So here I am. This is a door we've coated up on the inside now. As you can see, the colour's totally different. The colour's totally different to how it was before. And if you can just see at the bottom, there's like lighter areas. Now that's how it goes on. It goes on quite light. And then once the air gets to it and it starts um, to dry off, it darkens off. And this is the colour that it should have been originally. And it wasn't the colour originally because it looked like brush wood, brush grain. And you know what I mean by graining, the specialist paint painting effect that you can do to make um, things look like wood. Well, we didn't want that, we wanted a solid colour. And this is now looking how it should be. And don't forget, this is a water-based gloss finish for outside. It is glossy, it is shiny. You will never get that full gloss like you'll get with an oil-based paint. And if somebody tells me I can, please tell me what paint in water base for outsides can give you a full gloss like oil base paint because I don't, I don't think there is one. I mean if we all go back to um, Sickens XD gloss that was probably one of the best glosses that Dulux stroke Sickens made and they don't really do that anymore can't get it everything's moving over onto water base which is fine if you can get the finish so I don't want to have a moan about water base paints and glosses and not being very glossy this is probably quite good quite good but I'll show you another door I'll show you another door that we've done that is also bodying up so um, we are getting there thanks to Dulux and a new tin of paint again actually look at the gloss on that it's actually quite good for an inside of a door but this has all been coated up my dad's done this one you can see him he's working on the door on on the inside of the door down there but he's just done that one and that's not bad is it as a gloss for a water base how do we think that looks? Not too bad at all. But that is covered and it's just had one coat because this is what we're doing. We're going around giving them another coat to make them look like they should have done first time around. It's just unfortunate they've had three and four coats on these doors first time around. And if it had been right, we wouldn't have been needing to do that. So I'm going to say to you, was that paint faulty that we've now sent back down to Slough? I think it was faulty. Or have you had the same sort of in? 
well, I don't, what word do I want to use? Not incident. Have you had the same sort of um, problem where the paint's gone on and you actually say, is it a glaze? Is it a coloured glaze I'm putting on? I'm not getting any colour pigment giving me any body because that's how it was. It went on like a coloured glaze. Now we're putting it on and it's going on like a proper... If I say an opaque, that's a bit of an oxymoron because we're not wanting an opaque finish, which would be more of a satin. We're wanting an opaque gloss, but it's going on, on more as a, a bodied paint. And when I mean bodied paint, it feels like you're putting on proper paint. It goes on nice, not thick, but it's going on coverage is really well. And now we're getting that gloss finish coming up. So what I'll do when I've got some of the outside doors done, I'll come back. And I'll show you what outside of a door looks like because they are looking as good as this. But let's see how we go. Crack on. Time is money. So I said the word flocculation. Now, if you know what flocculation is, thumbs up. If you don't know what flocculation is, I'll try and explain it in layman terms. And I'll say layman terms. You can see flocculation on this door. And you're saying to me, Phil, tell us what the flocculation is. So let's make it quite simple. Flocculation. You know the way they make paint and you've got your pigments and your colours and everything all intertwined into that paint tin. Right, when you've got heavier, denser pigments and it can be quite, it doesn't have to be as dark as this, sometimes you can get lighter colours but they've got heavier, dense pigments. When you're brushing it out or rolling it, you can get it on emulsions, you can get it on glosses, you can get it on any finish really. It's as if the pigments are suspended in either a coloured glaze or virtually like a, a clear varnish and all your pigments seem to rise to the surface when you do your laying off with your brush or even your roller. When you come to a stop and your roller has been over the surface or your brush has been over the surface, those bristles or the, the fibres in your roller seem to pull the darker pigment to the top of that paint film. And then when it dries off, it looks like you've got not so much a stipple, but like an uneven paint surface that's got the darker pigment of the paint more at the surface than on the base. And it's as if it's not mixed and bound together evenly to give an even finish on the surface. So if I'm explaining it, if I've not explained that enough and you know what flocculation is, how would you explain it other than what I've just said? It's the, it's the pigments are coming to the surface and showing up more. I, I'd say that's, is that how you'd explain it? Dad? Yeah, I would say yes. Can you hear him? Yes. Do you want to explain to us flocculation in another way? If um, if you're not sure, we don't explain it well enough. 
I think the best way is to uh, look it up on uh, Google, Doctor Google. <laughs> look it up and uh, on the reference uh, paint technology. You know the problems, uh, flocculation and see how that explains it but it should be virtually the same as that. There's a book when I was at college and it was like a dictionary bible mm, for painting right. and decorating and we used to call it the five authors book. It was um, the complete guide for painting and decorating. The five authors book we used to call it because there was five authors that had written the book. I think the newer version now has about six or seven authors. Now that had all your definitions and terms um, in there for paint problems and I'll say problems defects so you got um, flocculation in there you got um, where it was going milky um, for blooming you got it where it was crosling where you'd probably got too thick a paint on it and the cold weather had dropped on it and it had all congealed up and looked like a, a crinkly camera finish it had got all that in it but flocculation I think the easiest way of describing it is if if you got a varnish a clear varnish and you've got pigment colors in it that varnish seems to settle but all the pigment colors come to the surface and as I say that could be emulsion that could also be your oil paints and um, even even eggshells um, oil based and water based so that's what flocculation is so I hope I've explained it if not um, just give us some comments how you'd explain it any better or like Papa says look it up look it up in the book but you might not have the book, but it might be a good book to have a look up um, on Amazon or somewhere like that and see if you can get the painting and decorating, complete guide to painting and get decorating. I think that's what it was. Um, if I get time sometime in the future, I might try and find my old books and get them out and show you what I had. But those that know, know. Those that don't are probably listening to me to find out the answer. So there you go. I'll see you in a few minutes when I show you these doors when they're all finished off. There we have it everybody, Dulux, do what they do in store, read the label and tell you all about it, Dulux weather shield and this is the quick dry exterior and it's the high gloss, now this is the um, one that's now gone to an 8 year, the, oh, I don't want to use the word guarantee but let's use the word guarantee up to about eight years now it's up to so if you only get one year out of it it's within the eight years but they're giving it a, an eight year weather protection so that's pretty good now we've coated all these doors up you can see over me and actually off off this camera they look pretty good as a gloss don't they i think they look pretty good as a gloss this is just one coat at the moment going over the previous coats of gloss now i'm not going to bore you making another video on second coating everything but we'll go around second coating there's enough in there to go around for a second coat to body them all up again um, to do the process of two gloss finishes over an undercoat now i know we did the undercoat what three four coats back but this is where we are now with a paint that seems to be the correct paint the correct consistency the correct mix you name it it seems correct so obviously the first tin we had was faulty so I'm going to say this video said faulty paint from Dulux but Dulux have come good they've supplied another tin of paint the reimbursing us for the time we're doing recoating up which is good and as a water-based paint, if you've not tried water-based paint outside, I must say I'm really impressed with how this applies and goes on. And the finish, I know it's not white, it's a bit of a colour. It is really a bit of a colour. Cinnamon stick, that's off the Dulux colour card. That's good, it looks a good gloss finish. And if that's got eight years protection and it holds out for eight years or five plus depending on whether you're a south facing um, side whether it's getting the weather more than another side or not eight years would be pretty good if we saw that out of it but the finish on these and I'm going to spin round door there we've done and we've done the back door back door there I'm going to point to it there back door there's done so we've done quite a few doors and look at the finish on that really please so 
Let's go over and out, comments. Have you had any faulty paint from Dulux where you've had that flocculation? Tried to explain the flocculation, as I say, Google it. But have you had faulty paint from Dulux that you've not been happy about that you've had to um, send back? Or any other brand? Give us some comments, but they've come good. This is how the paint should have been when we first applied it about a month ago. So all good now, thanks for listening to me. It's into 10 minute video, is it? We'll try next time, sorry. Over and out. Bye-bye.